to get into the player ratings. We're going to start with Alisson. Uh, Alisson, uh, what are your thoughts on Alisson, Ben? I mean, he had an okay game. He didn't really have much to do the whole game. So um, for that, I'll give him a seven. Because I just feel like, like I said, he didn't really have an outstanding performance because he didn't have much to do. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think I'm going to give him a seven as well. Unlucky to not get the clean sheet. But again, yeah. uh, it's football. We move on right back. We're going to go for the deputy, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Uh, what a machine this guy is. James Milner. Um, yeah. I'm going to give James Milner an eight. Um, he kept uh, Zaha quiet on the weekend. I mean, uh, the weekend before. And now he's kept Luis Diaz in one of, one of the best uh, up-and-coming players in Europe. And I think he did that perfectly well. He also got an assist, so I think he deserves an eight, Ben. Um, yeah, I think I'd agree with the eight, man. This guy's like, what, 34? Yeah, man. And it just yeah. doesn't look like he's slowing down, man. So, yeah, for that, I'll, I'll agree. I'll give him an eight. Yeah, fair enough. We go on to the centre-back partnership. Quite surprised that... Um, Matip and Van Dijk were was the one were the ones that started. Of course, a lot of people expected Canati and Van Dijk or Canati Gomez to start, but um, them two were the ones that started at centre back. I think for Matip, I'm going to give a uh, seven point five, much much better performance than the game against Brentford. Uh, Aerially, he was better. Defensively, he was better. So yeah, and then Virgil Van Dijk, uh, I'm going to give him an eight. He, he this was just a walk in the park for him. Nothing too much. Um, did what he had to do and was great. So Van Dijk eight and Matt seven point five. What are your thoughts, um, Ben? What would you give the two centre backs? Um, yeah, I think with my tip, I'd agree. Seven point five would do. He played like you said. He played better than he did against Brentford. Van Dijk, it was just like it's like he didn't even sweat, man. Mm. Like I saw in like the first half, like one of his like hairs was like coming out, and then when he went in for like half time. And he came out, it's like he re gelled his hair again just to like just to make sure that he's looking good while he's playing, man. So for that, I give him an eight as well, dude. He was just, he, yeah, he he's just like he never got out of first gear, he never got out of gear number one. Bro. Yeah, it was a walk in the park. We go on to, of course, the position that has been a lot of debate Costa Simica, Sandy Robertson. Of course, Robertson did start this game. Um, I think he was very good. What are your thoughts, man, on Andy Robertson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he was good. He looked positive as well. Um, he didn't get an assist, yeah. but he still played really well. Um, still got forward. He's also another player who improved a lot since yeah. the Brentford game. So um, for that, I'll give him a 7.5. Yeah, I agree. I'll give him a 7.5 as well. I think there was maybe a few uh, occasions where he could have crossed the ball. I'm sure there was yeah. a chance where he took a shot where it was such an easy cross to Salah. But again, the players don't have the reaction time, maybe. But I think defensively, he was amazing because there was a chance where uh, Fabio Vieira had the chance to go one-on-one -on -one and he absolutely comes out of nowhere and yeah, yeah, yeah. stops the ball. So, he, I think defensively, he was great. And, yeah, he's showing the fans that don't sleep on him because he's been doing this for time and he knows how it is. I'm going to give Robertson 7.5. And we move on to the midfield three. Of course, I think the midfield three, I think this was the predicted uh, midfield, I think. Any other midfield would have been a bit controversial. Of course, Fabinho, Henderson and Curtis Jones. I'm going to give Fabinho a six. I think he was okay. Nothing too special. But he got the job done, to be honest. Henderson, I'm going to go a five. I think a lot of people criticise me for this. But I don't think Henderson was out here against Paul Wall. If I'm honest, I think if you analyse his performance closely, I just don't think he was out here. And I, that's nearly two games in a row now where he hasn't been at it. And I'm starting to get a bit shaky because now we have C. And if he doesn't play against good against C, number one, that's the title race. And number two, that's a very big game at Anfield. So he really needs to pan up, not just do hoof boosts and into the box every time whatever happens, happens. He really needs to pan up. So Fabinho, uh, six. Henderson, five. And for Curtis Jones, I think he was my man of the match. Absolutely spectacular. What a young talent yeah. we have on our hands. Uh, I'm going to give him a 10. I think he absolutely deserves it. You, you you get three assists and you don't deserve a 10. That's not fair. He definitely deserves a 10. So I'm going to give Curtis a 10. Uh, what are your thoughts on the midfield, Ben? What would you rate the midfield? Um, 
for Bino, I'd give him a six because, like you said, he just he did his job. wasn't anything spectacular. wasn't an outstanding performance, but he still managed to get out there and get the job done. Henderson, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be nice with Henderson and I'm gonna give him a six because I feel like he also did the same as Fabinho, went out and got his job done. I just feel like he sometimes tries and, you know, tries to do a bit too much, especially now. I don't know, maybe his confidence is high. He's like, he wants to make forward runs, wants to get in the box. And I mean, I don't mind that every once in a while, but the main reason why we love Jordan Henderson is for his ball winning abilities, for his ability to, you know, cover for the, for our attacking players. So, I just I would like to see more of that from him in the next few games. Mm. So yeah, I'd give him a six as well. Curtis Jones, like you said, I'd give him a 10, man. This kid is fucked, dude. This kid's a baller, man. Give him a 10. Mm. Like I feel like if if um Foden got three assists, yeah. you, have, you wouldn't hear the end of it, man. Sky Sports would have mm. done a whole like fucking documentary about him. But yeah, Curtis Jones fucking killed it, man. Give him, I'd give him 10 out of 10, definitely. Yeah, Fez, I completely agree as well. Uh, we move on to the front three. Um, the front three was Mohamed Salah, Diogo Jota, and Sadio Mane. Of course, a lot of people were surprised when this front three came out because at least one person um, predicted that one of them would be dropped. I have Salah, Jota, Mane. Of course, I predicted Jota would be dropped because he had to play a lot of games prior to this game. But... It looks like it wasn't in Klopp's thinking. Klopp wanted to go ruthless, and rightly so. Uh, Salah, well, we talked about in the match reaction, this guy is a machine. This guy will not stop, and this guy won't stop. What a player. I'm going to give Salah a 8.5. The Jota, I think Jota missed a lot of chances, man, but I think link up play, yeah. his link-up play has improved. He's uh, looking like he's improved as well. He's creating chances for himself and creating chances for others. And it's nice to see that his link-up play is becoming nice uh, and it's becoming better. But come on, uh, he should have finished the chances he had because let's be honest, against the big team in the Premier League or against the team in the Premier League, you're not always going to get those chances and you're not going to get the chance to bury them away. So I'm going to give Jota a six. Mane, I'm going to give Mane a nine. I think Mane deserves a nine. I think um, that's a big confidence boost for him. Score brace. Um, so yeah, I think well deserved from Sadio Mon. Did he scored brace? No, nah, he scored one. He scored one. one. Yeah, 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 he scored one. Yeah, he scored one. Then Salah he scored, scored two. two. Oh, Salah scored two. I got mixed yeah. up. No, no. I'd rather I'll give Salah a nine and give Marnie an eight. I think Marnie was good. Yeah. I think that's a big confidence boost. So yeah, I think he deserves that. So just to make it clear, I've given Salah a nine and give Marnie an eight. With Jota um, a six. Ben, what are your thoughts? Yeah, man. Like you said, um, Jota, I feel like his biggest problem is just inconsistency because he could have maybe one game and then he would play like a house on fire and then he'd have another game where he'd miss chances like yesterday. But the problem, like the promising thing is that he's getting himself in the positions and he's having those chances. So for Jota, I'd give him 6.5 just for the fact that he didn't score yesterday. But like you said, his link-up play is improving, linking up well with the rest of the front three. Um, Salah, actually, no, let me go to Mane. Um, Mane, I'd give him... Well, what can I say? I think I'd give Mane an 8 because it was, it was a good confidence booster for him to get on the score sheet once again. He hasn't started well this season, so hopefully he can... He's getting, you know, these odd goals here and there. So hopefully it can just help him pick up form. Um, Salah, I would give him 9.5. I feel like if he finished the game, he probably would have had a hat trick. So for that, I'd give him 9.5, man. Yeah, I agree. Um, move on to the um, five substitutions, I think. Uh, we're going to start. Let's start with Firmino, of course. Firmino did bag a brace, and I'm not wrong this time. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> I think, wow, I think... Uh, of course, he came back from his injury and it was nice to see him back a brace. Hopefully, he can take his momentum into Manchester City and hopefully score against Manchester City. I'm going to give Mino an eight. How about you, Ben? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like he could start against City. I feel like he'll most probably start against City. So, that's good to see him on the score sheet again because I feel like he's really a player that we all love. All Liverpool, play, all Liverpool fans love. I mean, you know, 
especially back when he was in his prime, he was just one of my favorite players. So yeah. it's good to see him come and score, come on and score two goals. So I give him an eight point five definitely. Mm. Yeah, Fez. Uh, I think the next player who came on was Joe Gomez. I think it was okay. I'm gonna give him a four. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him three. To be honest, you can't say it's a bad ring. He didn't play ninety minutes. I'm just gonna give him what based on when he came on, he was okay. And I don't think he looks good at right back. I don't think right back's the one for him. He played at yeah. youth academies, and it just seems to be lost out of him now. So I think, nah. Even for the Tarimi goal, he got in front too late. Although that was Matip's man, Matip should have done the business there. He she could have got something on the Tarimi goal, but I'm gonna give him a free. Uh, what are your thoughts, man? Yeah, I think I'd give him a four, man. I feel like I feel like he could have done more for that goal. To be honest, I feel like he was a bit suspect, and uh, he did try his best because we I mean, obviously we all know now, and I feel like he knows it himself that he's not a right back anymore. So yeah. he tried his best, but it just right back isn't for him. I was surprised to see him even come on, and then have like to for club to put him at right back. But I mean, yeah, it's just not for him anymore, man. So yeah, I would give him a four. Yeah, fair enough. Um, of course, next substitute was Alex Oxley Chamberlain. I think he was okay, but he never got himself involved enough in the game uh, yeah. for nothing too special, to be honest. Yeah, uh, same here. I gave him a four. Yeah, fair enough. And we move on to um, the other one, uh, Divo, uh, Takumi Minamino. Um, again, just like Alex Oxley Chamberlain, he had a few good times, very good pressures, um, but this guy gets bodged so easily. He really needs to improve his um, strength, man. Honestly, he'd be yeah. such a good play if he had good strength. But it is what it is. I'm going to give him a four as well. Uh, what do you think, Ben? Yeah, man. Um, I think I'll give him a four. I feel like he maybe could have done more if he started. But yeah, it was interesting to see that front three because that could possibly be our front three in January when Salen Mane leave for AFCON. Mm. So yeah. I just hope that yeah. he can also continue to get games to kind of build, you know, that, that kind of consistency and that form. But I'll give him a four. Yeah, fair enough. And uh, we move on to the last substitution that Jürgen Klopp made, um, Diva Corrigi. Um, I'm just going to put it as NA. Don't really think. Same here, man. It's fair enough to give him a rating. Uh, but yeah, that was the end of our player ratings for the game against Puto. Hope everyone enjoyed. Uh, drop your player ratings in the comments below. Uh, and... If any of you disagree with us, feel free to put it in the comments below. Of course, uh, everyone is entitled to their opinion. No one will get scrutinized. No one will get criticized for their own opinion. But again, subscribe, hit the like button. And until then, we'll be back for a Manchester City preview. And everyone take care.